Most of the time, we don't realize we're addicted until it's too late. I remember back in June 2020, I remember waking up and having the sun shine on my face, walking over to the kitchen, grabbing a Pop-Tart. I'd put that Pop-Tart into the toaster, wait a couple of minutes. When the Pop-Tart was finished, take it out, put it on my plate, eat the Pop-Tart. Then I'd proceed to smoke up a joint. At the time, it felt so amazing. I felt like, yeah, this is the life, you know? No school, no work, nothing. I can do whatever I wanted to do. And it felt so liberate. Like, imagine you were in a state where you could do whatever you you wanted to do and there were no consequences because the rest of the world was on pause that's what it felt like i'm sure many of you have experienced this already and back then right after i smoked i'd either what watch porn watch netflix maybe smoke up more indulge in any sort of bad habit that was not good for me and at the time i didn't really understand that i was addicted to these certain things it was just a part of my life until one day i woke up my heart kept on beating fast i was just don't don't it kept on beating so fast. I was like, why is my heart beating so fast? I walked down the stairs to go to my target that was below my, that was near my apartment. And as I'm outside, I'm walking by people. I'm looking at their faces and my face feels so hot and flushed. I was like, what is going on? Why do I feel so anxious? Why do I feel so weird and so clouded within me? And the symptoms just kept getting worse and worse and worse and worse. It wasn't until then I realized all those bad habits I was doing caught up to me finally. They finally have caught up to me. And this is why I say you don't realize you're addicted until it's too late. And most people will not choose to do anything about it because they have not faced any consequences yet so what do we do about these addictions that we may have right video games junk food porn netflix weed alcohol vaping nicotine all these vices and addictions what do we do about it? what can we actually do let's start off with what should you not do first the first thing is don't pick a date to start i know many of my friends and me as included back then we used to always talk to each other about oh we're gonna start on january 1st or you know on this first of this month we're gonna start and just be clean and you know a few days go by and eventually we continue to do the bad habit and that ties into the next thing that you should not do don't quit with other people or your your friends who are also doing the same thing i know it may sound cool that you're all gonna quit together and you're all gonna get better in this you know habit together but it doesn't work like that we want it to but it won't because let's say this right let's say there's a group of three friends and all it takes is one person to be hey they pull out the joint or they pull out the jewel or any nicotine device that you may have they smoke it and maybe you know after a few hours of people around i'm like nah i can't i don't want to do it but the next day they come with the jewel again they take it out all of a sudden another friend's like hey let me take a hit or hey let me try this let me try and then eventually the third friend will also crumble so if you heard the saying that all it takes is one rotten apple to rot the other apples this is true because if one person fails the other people in that friend group will probably fail as well because they'll feel as if ah whatever like everyone else messed up it doesn't matter to me so quitting with your friends is not a good idea let me tell you what i did in order to quit all those things some of these things may surprise you so stay really listen sharply to these things i actually quit cold turkey from the weed the drugs the alcohol video games just cold turkey i didn't i didn't go back to it i know a lot of people may not like cold turkey and may think it doesn't work i think the best thing to do is to completely cut yourself off from it don't taper off of it like a little bitch it doesn't work maybe it could work for you but in my perspective i see that if you are still doing it or if you find different ways like a nicotine patch or a nicotine gum or you're just gonna end up smoking again so the first thing i did back then was download an app called nomo and basically this app just helped me keep track of how long i was sober for and at the time this was a good idea i'll tell you why later it was not a good idea but right now at the time it was a very good idea to have an app that helped me keep track of everything like how long i was not watching porn for how long i was not playing video games for how long i was you know not smoking weed for or nicotine for this helped me get into that mind it kind of gamified the experience like oh you can see like the little clock going around you can see everything if you're interested in app if you are a complete beginner and you're trying to quit i recommend that you download the app nomo it just keeps track for you every time that you may relapse or you know go back to the habit you have to reset the clock another thing i recommend is to stay away from the friends that are doing that stuff right? if you're constantly with friends who always playing video games or always smoking or always wanted to party you need to stay away from them because if you're still in this initial stage right where you're trying to quit these habits you don't want this to be a part of your life therefore guess what 
you need to be away from people who are doing these things because if you're just staying with them you're going to eventually crumble you have not built up enough credit in this area where you can feel as if you're strong enough or have enough willpower or discipline to be like no i'm good you haven't so you have to stay away from them for a little bit i myself i stayed away from you know i moved back with my family so i was away from my friends for maybe about five months but at that point i was already like disciplined five months think about that some of you want a few weeks five months that's a long time for a lot of us so staying away from friends this is an important thing the next thing to do is to actually not see that having an addictive personality is a bad thing but to replace those certain bad habits that you've become addicted to with another good habit so instead of watching tv all the time replace that tv time with going to the gym or replace that tv time with reading a book and it may not be fun at first because you're so used to having all that high dopamine level but force yourself to do it. you literally need the willpower i'm not going to tell you no tip or trick in order to you know make it fun or to gamify the experience no you need to have willpower to change your life it's not going to be easy if it was easy everyone would do it everyone would quit everyone would choose the path that's less followed but there's a reason why only about 10 percent of people choose this path and can stick to the path as well so replace them right so replace the junk food with better food replace you know the video games with creating content something like this you know something that will you may become addicted to that's good for you going for a walk out in nature literally learning a new language speaking with more people like these there's there's so many things you could do that are way more beneficial for you or at least do not have a negative ROI in your life that you can choose to do. So it's important that you replace the habits. But the reason why I was saying that NOMO is good in the beginning and why it's not good now is because of the concept that you have in your self image that you are still this person who's trying to quit and you're still this person who fabs, who's, who's trying to quit. You're still this person who smokes weed, who's trying to quit. And if you have this mindset, it's actually more detrimental to you rather than thinking to yourself, I'm not a smoker, I'm not a fapper, you know, I'm not a gamer. These things are as well will actually help you quit finally at this point this is when you don't need no more it's good in the beginning but at one point you're gonna need to delete this app because you're always resetting the clock resetting the clock resetting the clock and it's a mindset that's still making you feel like you are addicted to the thing but once you tell yourself that you are not this or you are not a smoker and sure there may be a time when you do smoke up once but you're like this is weird this is not who i am it's just a rare occurrence and it's okay because you'll see that it'll still align with who you are just because you do it once in a blue moon does not mean that you are all of a sudden addicted to it or this is who you are and that's the final step the final step is to change your self-image and that's how you actually see positive change this is why i don't make these no fat videos or anything because let's say i'm someone who doesn't take cocaine i don't tell myself that i'm not on this or I'm, I'm on no drugs or i'm on no cocaine no you know what i mean i don't i don't tell myself this i just say oh i'm not a you know i'm not a cocaine user i'm not a drug user that's it same with no fab like just tell yourself i'm not a fapper but it takes time to get to that stage this is just which is why i say okay first download no mo start off that whole journey and then eventually there will be a time where you finally download or delete the app and you tell yourself I am not this. So I know we live in the world right now where there's so many addictions that are killing so many people, so many people. They're doing things that they don't want to be doing. They're living a life where their emotions are taking control of everything they do. They don't even have any control of anything that's going on in their life. And it's truly heartbreaking. It's truly heartbreaking. If you're still in this stage, I feel for you. At one point, no one's going to come save you unless you choose to take action. No one's going to save you. And if you're waiting for someone to save you, then you're going to wait forever. So it's important that you do something about it right now right now don't wait for a specific date to start and be like oh i'm a no it's some pussy shit bro honestly you're acting like a little bitch if this is what you're saying to yourself so if you do this you will not respect yourself whatsoever and i know that a lot of these addictions are caused by certain you know corporations and society that wants you to be weak and you know I know, I know it's hard, but we can't be like them. We don't want to live like those other people. We have goals, we have dreams, we have aspirations that we are trying to achieve. And these things are just slowing us down, so we cannot be like them. It's important that we take control over our life to become strong, to become disciplined, to become masculine in order to lead and to be in a position that we can actually respect ourselves and help other people around us, help our future wife, our future kids, our future family, our whole community. This is what we're trying to do. So we cannot be like them, but we must take action to separate separate ourselves first so we must remove the addictions remove the bad habits that have been destroying us so take action now my friend before it's too late make sure they subscribe and last but not least never waver from the path